Greetings, active, headstrong, adventurous Aries. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. And now I'm going to get into the June forecast for Aries for June 2019. And I'm gonna do some tarot cards. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about the transits, the planets. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I recommend that you watch the videos for your sun, moon, and rising sign. If you don't know your sun, moon, and rising sign, call me for a reading, for sure. Everyone should have their chart done at least once in their lives. It's uh, an amazing tool for self-awareness and self-discovery. And um, transit readings are also really cool. Once you've had your chart done, it looks at where the planets are now and how that affects you. But anyway, as you enter the month of June, Aries, um, you are the Hierophant. So um, the Hierophant is about uh, morals, values, commitments. It can be about dealing with um, organizations or institutions, sometimes therapists, doctors, priests those kinds of people or hospitals, churches, institutions. And um, you're covered by the wheel of fortune reverse. So you may be stopping motion in something or there may have been an unexpected twist of events for you around something, possibly around a hierophant type of issue like an institution or um, <clears throat> any of those things that I just mentioned. And in the month of June, you're crossed by the page of swords. So this is about a message, Aries. It could be a letter, an email, a text, or a DM. But it seems like there is some work for you to do around this um, message or possibly gossip. And the basis is a conflict of some kind. Uh, what's leaving um, is a time of levity, making a new start. What could come into being is a man um, with a wobble around him. This is an authority figure. It can be a father, a husband, a boss, a male authority figure. Sometimes it just represents the patriarchy in general for some people, but um, it may be that you're having difficulty dealing with this man around mid-month. And what's in front of you is the King of Pentacles, another man. Um, and this is dealing with a man in a business situation, business or finance. Um, it could also be an earth sign man. Uh, fears or insecurities are around death, uh, change, transformation. Others see the Knight of Pentacles, so it's looking like that there's a man wanting to do business with you, possibly wanting to offer you a job or um, maybe a proposal for a job or a business opportunity or a financial opportunity of some kind. Um, your positive feelings are the magician reverse. So it's around, uh, your positive feelings have to do with a, um, uh, a man who is uh, lacking in initiative. And um, the outcome is the chariot. By the end of the month, it's like you are moving forward, full steam ahead, Aries. Uh, focused, uh, vision, strong, and moving forward. And that's June for Aries. And, um, that's the tarot forecast, and your major arcana are the Fool, the Hierophant, the Emperor, Death, the Magician, and the Chariot. So there's six major arcana for Aries, which is just, you know, a lot of big themes going on in your life. You know, new starts, morals and values, fate, destiny, you know, a lot with male energy, um, a lot with transformation and change. Um, a lot with power and with forward movement. So that's all going on for Aries. And um, in terms of the planets, in June, we enter June with, uh, let's see, the Sun and Mercury are in Gemini. Uh, the Moon and Venus and Uranus are all in Taurus. Um, Mars and the North Node are in Cancer. Um, Saturn and Pluto are both in Capricorn, both retrograde. Um, 
Jupiter is in Sagittarius retrograde. Neptune is in Pisces. And um, Chiron is in Aries. And so, yes, Aries has been dealing with the Chiron transfer, uh, transit, which has been um, very intense for Aries. Um, it's, um, you know, getting in touch with your deepest wounds and, and peeling that back and, um, you know, an identity transformation uh, could be going on as a result. So it's a very important time for Aries. But um, June 3rd is the new moon of Gemini. And this is the writer's new moon. I say, um, you know, Gemini is the planet of communication and um, it's a very mental planet and it's about words and thoughts and ideas. And if you are starting a new writing project, new moons, as you know, if you follow me or have watched any of my videos, are the most fertile and rich soil for planting the seeds um, that we want to manifest. And each new moon has its own specific themes. And the new moon of Gemini is all about communication. And so it's the writer's new moon. If you're starting a writing project, a poem, a script, a novel, a play, anything, June 3rd is the night to set your intentions, to light your candles and, and you know, say your prayers and, and be very clear in your vision for what you are wanting in your writing projects. It's also a great time to set intentions around clearing up communication. If there's any communication in your life that you need to clear up, if there's someone who you haven't spoken to in a long time, who you would like to speak to, you can set intentions around that with this new moon. Um, also, what else? Um, just anything with communication. Um, if you're having trouble expressing yourself, if there's any public speaking concerns or desires or goals that you have, um, anything in the communication realm, written or verbal, is going to be covered um, under Gemini. Gemini also rules anxiety. It rules the nervous system. Um, so if you have any intentions around those type of issues, it's also a great time to uh, set under uh, the Gemini new moon. So um, I do an altar, and if you are interested in being in my altar, let me know. I can handle a handful of clients every month included on mine, and um, you know, it includes writing the manifestation, um, putting together the proper crystals, flowers, tarot cards, and everything that go with helping that manifestation come to be. And um, yeah, so that's the Gemini new moon. And then on June 4th, Mercury enters Cancer. And when Mercury enters Cancer, our communication is more driven by our emotion. Um, we are communicating on an intuitive level um, when Mercury is in Cancer, collectively. Now in our own personal charts, this varies, and that's why I always encourage people to, to contact me directly to have your chart done so I can do specific transit readings for you, but I'm talking in you know, broad generalizations for Aries right now when I say this, and for everyone really, um, but particularly Aries because this is the Aries video. Um, so June 6th, um, Jupiter is forming a sexque quadrant with Uranus. And this is really going to, it's Jupiter and Sagittarius, and um, Sagittarius forms a trine with Aries. And so there's a lot going on with Jupiter and Sagittarius this month, and it's going to affect certain Aries. Um, Aries that are born anywhere from 17 degrees to 21 degrees, um, uh, Sagittarius will probably be feeling this um, June 6th aspect I'm talking about. And June 6th is the date that it goes direct, uh, or that it's exact, but it's been building, you know, and there will still be, you know, an aftershadow. This isn't like a quick moving um, thing. It's more than a week or so, but it's, um, it's, a, it's a restlessness, it's a rebelliousness, it's, um, you know, it, it could be taking foolish risks for um, the sake of freedom. Um, is not a good time for financial speculation. So, um, you know, Jupiter expands, Uranus is uh, shakeups and things like that. So, um, June 8th, Venus enters Gemini. And when Venus is the planet of romance and Gemini is um, talkative, curious, mental, restless, all of these things. 
So, um, Venus and Gemini um, highlights romantic curiosity. Um, it highlights um, mental connections and romance. This is a time where if you're single, well, you're going to be very romantically curious. If you're in a relationship, this is a time where you're going to be connecting more on a mental level with your partner. You know, romantic words, letters, um, sweet nothings in the ear. I mean, intellectual conversations, though, because uh, Gemini is very, um, you know, uh, smart and clever and... So when Venus is in Gemini, we're attracted to that. Venus is attraction. And um, so, yeah, the, the shadow side of Venus in Gemini is fickleness. We can be fickle in romance when, when, when Venus is in Gemini. And um, June 14th, Jupiter is forming a semi-sextile with Saturn. And this is a really good aspect. Again, if you are 16 degrees Aries, to 20 degrees Aries, you will feel this, but it's it's good for your business sense. It's a, giving you um, a really good practical sense for business and just for conducting your life in general around this time. And um, let's see, um, June 16th, Jupiter is forming a square with Neptune. And again, if you're 16 to 20 degrees Aries, this is a very important aspect for you. Um, it, it, Jupiter is expansiveness, um, and Neptune is idealism and vision. So it's, um, you know, because it's a square and it's a challenge, you know, Jupiter is such a great benevolent planet that the challenge here becomes in, you know, over-optimism or, um, you know, um, being gullible, like believing your capacity to believe is too expanded. And, um you know, it could result in an embarrassing loss or it could um, be a test of faith. Um, you know, it can be trusting an idealized version of a romantic interest. In general, under this aspect, it's like don't gamble, you know, don't do drugs. <laughs> um, in general, don't do drugs, but, um, and <laughs> um, we'll do what you want, but <laughs> how did I get on that tangent? Anyway, um, but yeah, it can be um, over optimism. Um, oh, don't follow any cults. <laughs> I'm getting wrapped up in a whole thing with this Jupiter Neptune, but you get the idea. Um, so, and then what else? Uh, let's see. Um, June 17th is the full moon of Sagittarius. This is a very fiery full moon. It's uh, again, Sagittarius is trine Aries. A trine is a very harmonious and flowing aspect. So, Aries in general likes the Sagittarius new moon, but it's a fiery new moon and it's an action new moon. It's an energetic new moon. Um, Sagittarius is very, uh, it's not new, it's full. Was I saying full? I hope I'm saying full. Sometimes I'm just talking so much I start confusing full and new. This is the full moon of Sagittarius. And um, the full moon of Sagittarius is an exploratory full moon. It's a philosophical full moon. It's a, um, it's a, full moon that highlights education, it highlights travel, it highlights spirituality, um, philosophy, religion, all of these things. So it's a beautiful full moon and emotions are always heightened and um, it's a good time to, um, you know, focus on any of the aforementioned uh, themes in life. And um, June 18th, Saturn is forming a sextile with Neptune. And that's Saturn at 18 degrees uh, Capricorn forming um, a sextile with uh, Neptune at 18 degrees Pisces. And Saturn, is, uh, Capricorn is square Aries. So this is a challenging aspect for Aries. Um, in general, it's a good aspect. Um, but discipline um, is bringing structure to ideals um, and uh, maybe it has to do with finding meaning in work but maybe it might be a contrasting experience that brings you to this. Um, it's through contrast sometimes that we launch our higher desires and our higher purpose in life. Um, and again, this is an aspect that is going to affect mainly 16 degrees to 20 degrees Aries. So as you can see this month, that, that period of Aries, that 16 to 20 degree really has a lot 
going on in particular. So contact me for a reading, a transit reading. And um, June 21st is um, the summer solstice, which is very exciting. Go out, be in nature, have fun, celebrate the sun. Um, and uh, it's about illumination, it's about enlightenment, um, it's about the change, the change of the seasons. And um, the summer solstice is a beautiful time of the year. Um, and be in nature, enjoy Mother Earth. And uh, Neptune goes retrograde uh, the same time that uh, June 21st. So June 21st is a very powerful day and the sun also enters Cancer on that day. And um, Neptune going retrograde is, it's like a time to face the music wherever that's happening in our chart. And that I could get into with you more specifically. It's about the house more that it's in your chart and how it's aspecting your personal planets. But in general, you know, Neptune is very subtle. It has a nuanced flavor over a long period of time. And, um, you know, um, this particular aspect will illuminate where you deceive yourself in a certain area in your life. And we all deceive ourselves at certain times with different things. Um, and we're constantly getting to know ourselves better and to learn ourselves better and to find those hidden spaces. And, and Neptune sometimes can, um, you know, lift that shadow. Um, it's a time for spiritual self-development over the entirety of the aspect. But anyway, um, I'm spending too much time on Neptune. Um, the sun enters Cancer. When the sun is inter in, enters Cancer, um, you know, we are focused um, more on the past. We are focused on very personal issues, the home, the mother, the family, security, all of these things under the month of the Cancer sun become very uh, prominent and illuminated and highlighted. And uh, then, let's see, June 24th, Jupiter is um, forming a quincunx with the true node in Cancer. That's Jupiter and Sagittarius forming a quincunx with the true node of Cancer. And so this is going to affect Aries, um, again, 16 degrees or 15 degrees now, 15 degrees to 19 degrees. Aries will be affected by this and it's really um, it's religious and moral and educational values possibly being at conflict with society and maybe the other way it can manifest is difficulty in, in, in adjusting to social institutions um, and it you know this is the kind of aspect that it depends on where the houses that it's in in your chart so you could Call me for a reading if this resonates to you and you want to know more about it. June 25th, Uranus is forming a quintile with the true node. That's Uranus and Taurus, five degrees Taurus, forming um, a quintile with the north node in Cancer. And um, this is um, going to affect, again, 15 to 19 degrees Aries will feel this. It could be challenging. Again, it's through a challenging experience that Aries is really getting a lot of goodness. <laughs> again, I know Aries, I'm sorry, the challenging times, but you know, there's a lot of grace um, and a lot of goodness to come out of those challenges for you. And it's um, all about an awareness um, of uh, expressing your uniqueness in line with your higher purpose. And um, and then finally, June 26th, Mercury enters Leo. And so, yeah, so we've seen Mercury enter Cancer in June, and then Mercury jumps to Leo at the end of June. And Mercury and Leo, we're confident in our communication, um, more outgoing, um, and uh, maybe better talkers and listeners during this time of the year, <laughs> things like that. Um, what else do I want to say? Uh, Mercury and Leo. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it for now. Um, I kind of went longer than I wanted to. This is a 20 minute video today, but thank you for joining me, Aries. And please subscribe. Please share this video with your friends. Please contact me directly for your own reading. And, um, Follow me on Instagram at astrology.tarot.elionnicole. Talk to you soon.
Have a good June, Aries.